Select the correct answer from each drop-down menu. Consider the following equation. 2 to the x plus 3 equals 3 to the negative x. If the equation is solved using successive approximation, select the value of x after the following iterations. So after one iteration, we have these options. After uh, the second, we have these options. And after the third, we have these options here. Um, so this video is not going to be short. Um, but I will try to show every step to help you figure out how to do iterations. And um, so I'm switching over to my paper. And um, some of the work I have done ahead of time, and I'm actually going to have to pull up Desmos while I'm thinking of it. But before we do do Desmos, um, if we take a look at the problem, it looks like this. Um, the first step that we want to do is we want to move this 3 to the negative x over to the other side. So we end up with 2 to the x plus 3 minus 3 to the negative x. And I'm not going to put it equals to something. I don't need it equals to something. Um, we're just going to be using that. I'm typing in Desmos right now for my iPad. And we're going to now take that value and we're going to type that into Desmos. So 2 to the x um, plus 3 minus 3 to the negative x looks like this. And what we want to start with here is we want to start with um, where is our answer and we actually with Desmos the nice thing is we can go to that and we see that value it's negative 1.129 but that's not what we're doing on this one we're not getting an actual answer but what that answer is is it's between negative 1 and negative 2 so um, so our answer is between negative 1 and negative 2. And what we're going to call this is, since negative 1 is farther to the right, negative 1 is going to be the upper bound, and negative 2 is going to be the lower bound because it's farther to the left on the number line. And by the way, I would like to abbreviate upper bound as UB and the lower bound as LB. And I don't abbreviate very much, but there's a lot of writing on this problem, so um, I want to take a look at that. And um, I can't explain why we do everything on here, um, but what Edmentum has said to do here is it says figure out what happens when x equals negative 1. So we're going to put negative 1 back into the equation here, so it's going to be 2 to the negative 1 plus 3 minus 3 to the negative negative 1. And I'll let you type that into your calculator or into Desmos. But when we type that in, we get 0.5. We're going to do the same thing with our lower bound of negative 2. And it's going to be 2 to the negative 2 plus 3 minus 3 to the negative negative 2. And when we type that in, we get negative 5.75. I personally, I started doing this on uh, Desmos and I switched over to the calculator, uh, just a, a little bit simpler for me, uh, but use Desmos if that's what you have. Um, and again, I'm not quite sure why we have to do that, but now what's really more important is that we take the average of the upper and the lower bound. 
So our upper bound is negative 1. Our lower bound is negative 2. And so we've got two numbers. We add them together. We divide by 2. And we get negative 3 halves. And uh, what is important here is um, now we're going to take that value of negative 3 halves and we're going to put it back into this equation. So we're going to put x equals negative 3 halves and we're going to put that in. So it's going to be 2 to the negative 3 halves plus 3 minus 3 to the negative negative 3 halves. And when we type that into Desmos or into our calculator, we get negative 1.8426. And what's important about this is that this value is negative. And because it's negative, negative 3 halves is going to be the new lower bound. And we'll keep our upper bound. Our upper bound is negative 1. Oh, got to be able to see it. Negative 3 halves is our new lower bound. And our upper bound is going to remain um, to be negative 1. And then what's going to happen is, is that um, we're going to take the average of those two numbers. We're going to take negative 1. I don't know why I wrote negative 1 first. I should have written negative 3 halves. Maybe I'll just do that. Negative 3 halves plus negative 1 divided by 2. We have two numbers, so if we're taking the average of those, and when we do that, and we type that in, we get negative 1.25. But if you notice or you remember on Edmentum, that was uh, they had all fraction answers. And what that is, is negative 5 fourths. And that's our first iteration. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this value of negative 5 fourths and we're going to put it back into our equation wherever, where we see x. So we're, we've got the x equals negative 5 fourths. So it's going to be 2 to the negative 5 fourths plus 3 minus 3 to the negative, negative 5 fourths. And when we type that in, we get negative 0.5278. And uh, what happens then is that because this is negative again, then we have a new lower bound. And our lower bound then is going to be uh, negative uh, 5 fourths and we're going to keep our upper bound of negative 1. So now we're going to take the average of those two. So it's negative 5 fourths. Got to be able to see it. Negative 5 fourths plus negative 1 divided by 2. And again, just to keep this video a little short, and it's not short, um, we end up, when we type that in, as negative 9 eighths. And this is our second iteration. So now I have to um, turn my paper over here to finish. Um, but we're going to take that value of negative 9 eighths and we're going to put it back into our equation. So it's going to be uh, 2 to the negative 9 eighths, got to be able to see it again, 2 to the negative 9 eighths, plus 3, minus 3, to the negative, negative 9 eighths, and we end up with uh, 0 0.0168, and here this one is positive, this value is positive, so now we're going to have a new upper bound. So our new, I wrote it out, new UB, our new upper bound is going to be um, negative 9 eighths, and then we're going to keep our lower bound, and our lower bound was um, negative 5 fourths, that was the last one. 
So when we finish this problem to get our third iteration, we're going to take negative 9 eighths plus negative 5 fourths and divide by 2. And when we type that in, we get negative 19 sixteenths. And this would be our third iteration.